Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52. Second round match between Vava and his Pro Owls and Devak and his Chofs. In the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello. Hello. Oh, I could have your goblin picture rather than the... Uh, rather yes. Than the, uh, oh. 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 Um. I've been spamming that entering chat. I'm so happy with it. It's so... It looks so fucking good. Glorious. And you, you've received multiple compliments on it as well. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you, David. Oh, there we go. Don't thank me, dunk the randoms. <laughs> <laughs> Random masses. There's, there's more to it. I can just do it without the background as well later. I can, uh, I'll finish it. Oh, now you finish as well. What I've done is I've only started everybody, you know, like I, I, I basically I did enough. I did enough to get cropped down <laughs> All right. for, the, for the circle, but I will eventually finish everybody off. Hey, <laughs> um, but, <Thank> you. <laughs> but the most important thing was to just get it done. Yep. There is Daka, the mm. boomer. You're uh... there is everybody. I'll I'll show you them all. <laughs> oh, it's not. But there's also it? Daka on the pitch. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh Daka. yeah, I think that was maybe what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> Is, the that, boomer, is that all four? There's just a daedle. It's not daedle, is it? It's uh, flagle. There you go. No, it's not. Oh, fuck me, I did an extra M. <laughs> I'll get it in the end. There you go. There you go. In Arian, the DACA is the best strategy. It minimizes attrition that you take, it increases the chance of you being able to stall till turn eight. It's a win-win. It's a fantastic strategy. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I can't argue with you because, like, I'm afraid you'll throw me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> a horrifying cornhead. Maybe, Penemir, maybe that'll happen sometime. I mean, good luck. I mean, to be fair, first the, of all, in this match, there is no all, fucking way you should do anything but Daka because, yeah. like, every single one of those chorves has mighty blow. Yeah. And there's DP. Like, yeah. who's what is what's his name? The chorf coach De Devak. Mm. He's got one mission: bang down the pro elves so that he has a shot at winning. Mm. Yeah, it maximizes chalice equity and everything, Dakarin. It's brilliant. And, uh, yeah, so the elves have got a wizard and a babe as their inducements. Only 11 players, so obviously they really, really, really want to get to the second half with players. Then so, now. Yeah. And, uh, they lost one. I mean, Inarion did win two chalices with Wood Elves, but he should have just lost a few of them, right? A few of those games, he should have just lost 2 1. I mean, he, he, lo he lost a few chalices as well, right? Mm. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad, it's not a wrong strategy, but you have to be aware of what you, you trade for it. And there is like the longe longevity issue. And I, uh, I think you, you, especially now when Chalice has turned into a longer run, uh, more games like this strategy increases in value, right? Yeah, exactly. When when in Arian won it, there were sixteen people, you know, in the playoffs, which is yeah. a lot. It's like that instantly just makes it a lot easier to win, you know. And then, uh, like, it's harder to win sixty-four, even if they're worse. And, and you know, were, were they worse in the early ones or the later ones? Artemis would tell you it was exactly the point of the seasons he was playing the most were when it was hardest. But I do think it is easier now, like the ladder is easier now. But it, the it's, thing is, like, yeah, you, play, it, it's to easier to qualify, but then the cup is longer and yeah, more difficult. Yeah, the, the right? cup's harder so, just because so, it's longer, yeah. Yeah, um, so it's like... Can't really, it, you can't really make a fair comparison. It's always going to be an eye test, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then, 
yeah as you were on to like we're all gonna <laughs> we're all gonna be like leaning towards um it's it's what Gedanik has been on about as well, right? Like how everyone thinks that the team that they're maining is the most uh, skilled and uh, <laughs> difficult team, right? Yes. The, of course, it was most difficult when you were the one that were in it. <laughs> like you, you're just gonna. That's how a human bias works. Yes. Wow, this is not looking... <laughs> hasn't done it on a cold, rainy night in Stoke. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yes. That's what you think, and so you don't know where Anari has been in his youth. <laughs> Hopefully not in Stoke, uh, for his sake. But... It's not a wizard, but yeah, this is looking real bad. This is looking really bad for Parval. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, and this is exactly the spot that you, like, this is the reason you dock at, to not end up in this exact situation, right? And he was more on a half Daka, and that's why that is the absolute shittiest strategy. Yes. Because you don't make any forward progress to score when things turn sour, and you still get banged out. Yeah, yeah, the, the half Daka, right? I struggle to get behind in any <laughs> in any way. It's like either you have to commit all the way back or all the way forward. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's it's uh, yeah, it's. Um, it, it how many casts is it? Is it two casts and two kills? Oh, or? it's gold. Uh, one, yeah, two casts because he's appled. I'm pretty sure. Or is it surf? He's appled. Both, both, both apples have gone. No, he only had one apple. Did he only have one? Oh, yeah, it's a babe. Yeah, so his apple's gone. But he's got a babe for that now, but he is four players down, which is pretty bad. But, you know, the dwarves couldn't get next to him, so this is actually looking all right now, isn't it? From looking mm. terrible, like, you know, with all these hits, actually, it somehow survived and looks kind of fine. Yeah, it's like, it's... And that's the thing, right? You, in your quest to bang, you you can't like overextend too much. Mm -hmm. uh, and he really has, he, he really has overextended his shorts. Uh, Amazing. Or was that his last reroll? Uh, no, he's got one left. All right, and. Uh, the chorps are on one as well because they failed the GFI and then they dub skulls now. So, so yeah. Um. Um, there's no offense in Aryan. Uh, why would anyone take offense to you? You're not. You're not a fifty percent shitter. You are a seventy percent shitter. So there you go. <laughs> I think Aryan says that if he was playing Daka, like yeah, he, he would he would. Drop twenty percent. Yeah, but he'd still be—he's still a shitter. <laughs> <laughs> that was my point. <laughs> uh, everyone, uh, everyone is uh, is a noob according to Anarion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If Anarion's going to call everyone a noob, but Anarion calls gonna... himself a noob as well. Yeah, yeah. Are you a shitter? No, I'm the best. Yeah. <laughs> See, there's the difference. <laughs> I'm the fucking best. <laughs> God, I'm so good. I'm so good. I honestly find it like hard to comprehend my awesomeness. Like it's just unbelievable, you know. <laughs> Literally, if I'm walking around my house and I see my, like myself a reflection, I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> how am I? How can I be this good? It's unbelievable. <laughs> you know. But uh, oh, now I mean, shit. I don't know because I'm me, but <laughs> I, I, I think I understand what you're getting at. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the concept, but I can't understand like feeling that good. 
Oh, you should feel it, dude. <laughs> wow, all the rerolls gone. Brutal. I know. It's, it's, I was trying to work something out about, around that and so, but I couldn't get there. Or uh, an errand. <laughs> Fantastic. But yeah, if you, if you name yourself Jimmy Fantastic, then... <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's so good that he, we actually struggle to find out what exactly he's good at. I'm not good at everything. I'm not good at anything. I'm fantastic at everything. <laughs> yes. Don't fucking sell, sell him short. Yeah. Man. Jesus. <laughs> fucking good. Why are you calling me good? The fuck am I? What a fucking insulting prick. <laughs> God. That's what you get from goblins. <laughs> I'm not, can't, never trust a goblin. Jesus. Nothing but insults. <laughs> Give me all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, instant. No, it's not an instantly served because he. No, it's might be it. Maybe it's yeah, getting the dice is easy. Yeah, yeah. How does he get the assist? It's a one, isn't it? He does a one. He's got no what? reels. He does a one instead of just scoring. Oh my god! No, I guess if you, so, it, I think you just start score, right? I think you score as yeah. well because it's too dangerous. Like if you if you blitz, so if you blitz, you do surf him and you do get to like make a screen. And you get one more turn, maybe two more, to be fair. But you're probably going to get tackle on No, you're not going to get two. So... Why? Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Never mind. With a reroll, you do it. With a reroll, you do it. Because it's two plus, right? And it gets you... It gets you... Pro it's, it's a good... It gets you a turn of storm and a two plus. So, so with a reroll, you do it. Mm. Mm. Cause it's it's down to that again, right? Giving them three turns or two. Mm. I'd rather give them three. No yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, that's the good point. That's the that's the Dio opinion, isn't it? It's better to score on turn. It's better to give them three turns because then you've got the count score chance. Whereas if you give them two, you they don't. So yeah, maybe just yeah. score actually. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair. Fair comment. Maybe just bang it in. Yeah, this is just terrible. Don't say it's over. I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, Tony. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes, see, Narin is one of these anti daka people who's seen three Dakas work today, the fourth one doesn't work, and say, See, the Dakar doesn't work, it's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did, he, that's not what he said. That's what he said. Scumbag. C would have been better to have scored quickly <laughs> and defend the force, but he literally said C. <laughs> C, it didn't work, so it's bad. It's, it's essentially it, it, what he's saying. It, this wasn't a DACA. We've already established that. Okay. So, yeah, a DACA would have been better and quick scoring would have been better. We, that's. We already. Oh. Of course, here. <laughs> what? You just teleported back. It's a lot worse Wait. when you teleport back three squares, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> <laughs> yep, cyanide, the masses of programming. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, whatever you do, and you're trying to score, don't teleport out of range. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! He really wanted to get in, and then I was like, "No!" <laughs> it was like you had those bungee ropes. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, man. If you could have got the teleport forward three squares, you'd have been all right. Oh yeah. Is he going for the passes here on turn seven? Wow, this is a bit risky, but I guess no, there's nothing there's nothing nearby. Like if it had scattered three forward, then this one could have gone one, two, three, picked it up, lobbed it in the end zone, scored, but uh I guess it was correct to go for the pass then. Yeah, I think so. It has to go really fucking horribly for him to lose that into 
getting scored on. <laughs> Thanks, Skull. Saves the day for the chorps. Otherwise, we'd have been close in the second half. Lol, tick skull. <laughs> oh man, I've had some horrible nightmares. I had, I had some weird nightmares the other night. I liked, I had like about six nightmares in one night. It was mental. Dude, I've been on two, two years straight, nothing but nightmares every time I close my eyes. Oof. That's pretty horrible. Yeah. Not Dakar nightmares, no, the da Dakar dreams. I dream of Dakars. <laughs> oh, man. We, should, we, we, need to, we need to write a Blood Bowl novel. Do, do, do extra arms robots dream of electric <laughs> robot, robot Dakars? <laughs> electric? Was it electric? <clears throat> electric, isn't it? Do extra arms robots dream of electric? Um. I don't have to more than because apparently I'm not big enough a streamer anymore to warrant getting bubble three and there's no fucking way on earth I can <laughs> afford it because I can't afford food. <laughs> Diced. No, I so don't get it. I have to play Blood Bowl. Diced three. Again. The weirdest thing is unless unless the message was deleted from of the of the the person joining Chunter's discord is Chunter not getting one i think that's the weirdest one cuz i could yeah. understand me getting blacklisted yeah definitely but, but nobody and, would and just why i wouldn't get one yeah and Chunter and, 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 and Cal calcium got one as well so like yeah. calcium hasn't streamed forever so calcium getting one and then you not getting one is wild as well so yeah 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 it's really weird i mean Chunter hasn't streamed much since the start of December either, um, oh. but he is a big name, right? Yeah, he's, he's done a bit since then. It's more just like it's more like February that he hasn't. I'm, I bet in January he still streamed a fair amount in January. But it's only a couple of not, weeks. Not, not a lot, and like by his perspective, like From it his, was still yeah, like yeah, it was still, still enough to get to get one. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, it's it's still weird. A lot more than calcium has, that's for damn yeah. sure. <laughs> really weird. Maybe it was just the people that fucking Dord told, told them to. <laughs> true, more than true. Someone could gift it to me. <laughs> that would be horrendous. Actually, wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't hate it. <laughs> I mean, free stuff, right? Yeah, that is pretty wild, exposing the strength for super player, but I guess these are for the one turn, and this yeah. is randomly to get mighty blow. I don't really understand why he's exposed. I, I'm Spoiled assuming three, it's to, like, in case there's a blitz, oh, yeah, be yeah, able yeah, to do yeah. anything. Uh, yeah. yeah, there you go, there's the answer. Well done, Daedal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I am garbage, though. If you listen to Booty Juice, so don't take my word for it. Mm. But yeah, Necronome. I can't remember the last time Necronome streamed. That's like God. That's no, like he's been, what? Like maybe he's, he's July so or something. Being, like uh, ages cover. ago. Yeah. Like that's ages ago since Necronome streamed. It was some time then that he uh, became uh, a detective, right? Mm. <laughs> and then the crazy thing is that, like, if it was just so, if it was done recently, it would, you know, you would that would understand Chunter not getting one if it was done like who was on last week. But then Necronome and and Calcium aren't getting one, right? And if calcium yeah. and necronom are getting one, then chunt is like, how is chunt to not? Like, there's there's yeah. no there's no world in which in what well, that doesn't make sense. And and of course, Daedal as well. Yeah, it's just chunt was the more obvious one because bigger numbers than Daedal in it. But but yeah. still, necronom necronom and calcium are, are definitely you know in the same in the same ballpark, right? But, but then haven't streamed for months. So how the hell how the hell have they got them? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's really Anywho, 
And, and somebody somebody could have watched your stream as well, Dadel, and thought, oh my yes, god, I don't want him screaming I don't want him screaming fuck. See, I can see why I would get blacklisted if someone yeah. watched my stream. Yeah. 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 And like obviously I can see why I would get avoided, like sure. Sure. Like, I totally understand me not getting one. I'm not surprised yeah. I didn't get one. I mean, I, the, the, the times that I have spoken about Blood Bowl 3, it has not been... I've, I've not min, minced words, right? So, mm. I am very clear about what mm. I think mm. about. Really weird. How well they do their jobs. Oh, fuck them. Fuck him, I get stupid. Then oh, again, some dickhead in the in the Discord says, "Oh, well, could you do better?" And it's like, I don't have to, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you know, just because I can't make a game on my own, that doesn't excuse a fucking entire studio not being able to make one, does it? Like, do you know what yeah. I mean? Me, who isn't a professional game maker, can't make a game, but a studio full of them can't. Like, fuck off, man. <laughs> like what the hell I mean one person one person alone in his basement you know in Sweden if we got the money is it Sweden three years to do it <laughs> Where, where's Christopher from we honestly where's Christopher yeah, from? He's, from, he's from Sweden yeah he's from Sweden like there's no way one person alone in his house in Sweden there's no way that one person could develop something far better than Blood Bowl 3 in a fraction of the time that's just not possible is it <laughs> Oh no, wait, that's exactly what's happened. Oh, okay. Resurgent. <laughs> 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 yeah, calcium is someone they've act actively banned before for discovering that other people were cheating. So I like, <laughs> How has Calcium got one? <laughs> oh, wow. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Tony. Holy shit. You, you're a horrible bastard, Tony, but that was a good one. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. It's literally the only game I've seen in a in a lifetime of playing video games. It's the only one that I've ever played that physically hurt me. The only one. That oh, here we go, wizard. Are you me? <laughs> <laughs> Gets the room. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tony. Yeah, yeah. Well, is, is that there's there's a. There's a steal. I think maybe so. I think maybe what he had to do was this guy dodges out one, two, three, four, five, six GFIs, no double GFIs, and then he does the blitz. So, yeah, so he just GFIs once. Yeah, he GFIs once, right? So this guy dodges GFIs. This guy does the blitz because he's got wrestle anyway, right? So you don't need a blitz with a wrestler. So this guy blitzes him, and then he goes out one, two, three. Four, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, lobs it to him, or just lobs it, you know, punts it, whatever. That, that's the way it's got to be, right? You can't use this guy because you need the recovery. And, and so this guy, yeah, I think he's definitely done it wrong. Because n now, how does he recover? Like, or, or rather, like, so he, he can't recover with this guy. He, he can recover with this guy, but he can't do anything with it if he recovers with this guy is the problem. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, so he rolled really. Wow, okay, so he, he made those rolls, but oh, still, holy. it's just not oh, good enough, is it? Strong boy <laughs> like, it's good enough, but it's not. It's good enough to stop that, but it's still a double GF to get smashed a bit. <clears throat> yeah, he couldn't get into that. Mm. Yeah, I can't stay near the sideline either. I don't know. Uh, wait, this is worse. Because mm. <clears throat> getting reached by the Chorps is just, yeah, it's just worse. Yeah. 
That's pretty good, Moradon. I don't build guards, so I certainly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Both three literally starts on fire as it's in the tip. Right. Okay, there you go, he's got the ball. And that's looking super bad for the elves. But yeah, I think that's yeah. what he had to do. He had to he had to get it away. Not, not, yeah. not, not get it away. <laughs> That's the, well, that's the thing, Corpax. He had to play it differently so that he, it was possible to come in. Oh, oh well. Well, he's a... Uh... And the shittiest possible scatter. Yeah, but he's got it, so this is... Oh, oh hello, yeah, all right, if you do that. <laughs> it somehow worked out for Why the stunning of all. in there? Surely fucking have to dodge Shao. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a 2 plus you've got to, haven't you? Because you're just giving him the free hit. But then I guess, and he hasn't got an assist, oh, but he can get an assist just by punching him with Gar, so he's instantly got an assist. So yeah, yeah, you've got you've got to go there. It was just a 2 plus. You just have to do it, don't you, even with no reward. I think it's a 2-2, two because -two, I think it was a G5 oh, as well, yeah, but two still, two. Yeah, yeah, two -two. Still, still though, like, you have the reroll, that's why. To win the game, you use the reroll, right? Because mm, the problem, yeah, like now, how does he hit him, right? He hits him on 1D with tackle or, or 2D without. Like, if, if he had made that, G, that dodge in G5. Yeah. But as it is, he just gets whacked. To be fair, that wasn't a blitz, so he's not even tagging the ball. Like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, yeah I don't know why that wasn't a blitz. Because <laughs> this blitz is pretty pointless. Oh, well, we're seeing him. <laughs> Just want to lose. <laughs> oh, hey. Those are the best ones. Well, I mean, this is pretty good for the elves, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is for pretty sure. amazing for the elves. Amazing double clear. He runs around and he two pluses off. Shouldn't have gone that far, right? Yep, he's realised now. <laughs> Because he just needs to get to there or whatever. Not chin really. No, I like this. I like this, Nick. I like. I like. I like the double, the double off. I guess chin in range was an option, wasn't it? No. Yeah, I prefer this as well. Because uh, now the cow is still like. Uh, Power pushing if he blitzes the wall. Hmm. Yeah, Which I, like I think this. he had to. Like, he can't get around in front, can't he, with GFIs? Which is going to be a pain in the ass. I... Oh, yeah, he yeah. can. Yeah, he's going to bull, yeah. Yeah, alright. <laughs> bulls are movement nine. It's like it's funny if you if you if you're using bulls that you've got to picture them as move a six, movement six. But if you're playing against them, you've got to yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, to yeah. picture them as movement seven. No, nine. Sorry, I said yeah, seven. Yeah. And that's the square. And then we can blitz, so it doesn't matter. You should have been in contact, right? You should have been in contact. The ball. I, I, I hit yeah. him there. You should have been. In yeah. I mean, the the contact means that he gets the one D blitz off, but this is still worse, right? Mm -hmm. That means that means he's got to do that one D, and it means he gets a one D to the two D blitz off. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's way better. Mm -hmm. And he also has to make the 2 plus dodge off tackle to get the first 1D fix. Mm. It's not over. Hey, 
It, I never said it was over. It was in Ari and the, with the rubbish Dakar. So there you go. If he hadn't Dakar in the first half, maybe he's only got like two players left right now. Literally everyone in chat said it was over. <laughs> but well, chat shouldn't have said that. I never said it was over, so I'm okay. And I was very close to admitting that <laughs> chat was right, but I didn't. And that's because I'm a fucking genius, not a garbage <laughs> player like Booty Juice said. <laughs> As you can tell, I am not at all bothered by what Booty just said. <laughs> Ooh, quick snap. And there's no dodges for the one. I mean, this is terrible, isn't it? The uh, the packed LOS is actually terrible. Actually terrible. I would never incorrectly defend a, game, a one turn against no, Chorfs. Never. Would, never in my is life. It's definitely beneath the uh, skills of... Uh, and knowledge and experience of someone of your stature and caliber. Yeah, thank you. You would not be able to call yourself fantastic if you, if that were to happen. I mean, let's not go that far, but yeah, it didn't happen. That's the important <laughs> takeaway. Yes. <laughs> let's not say things we can't take back, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> This was just way too easy as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he got lucky with a quick snap, obviously made it of easier. Of course, but don't fucking stack them together. Yeah, you like, can't that's stack them together. the basics. Literally. But as I already said it earlier, this is two, two coaches doing their best to lose the game. <laughs> like, neither of them wants to win, and we're seeing it here. Yeah, he got the four pushes forward even... Uh... Even without the uh, well, without a blitz and without the quick snap, he got into range. Yeah. Gets the pass. Oh! Gets the catch. Oh, you're slightly ahead of us. <laughs> of me. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can't have a tight yeah. You just can't. Yeah. Actually punished, yeah, that is... I hate chorps, mm -hmm. but I do love a good punish, so... <laughs> now, can the L score a one turn? Probably not. Six players <laughs> versus stun film. Well, at least the kick went to the interesting team. Mm. Like, actually makes a game out of this OT. Three, four, five, six. I mean, there's no chance for the elves to score a one turn. Surely you have to fucking defend the flanks. <laughs> Riot. There's no sidestep, so. Oh my god. <laughs> he can't, he doesn't need to defend the flanks, Dadle. It's, it's turn 16. No, alright. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, oh. I'm the dumb one. <laughs> <laughs> quick snap. It would be hard with quick snap. I think he needs a riot. Maybe it's possible with quick snap. I wouldn't <laughs> want to. Do... Maybe I am garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Justice for booty juice. <laughs> oh wow! Just a casual cast. Yeah, I, do, I don't think quick snap. I mean, like, I don't think it's doable. Um, oh, hello. If 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 a oh. friendly if a friendly Danish guy entered the chat and told me it was possible, I, I'd believe him. <laughs> but, but if anyone else told me it was possible, I'd be like, no. <laughs> but right, I would. I you know, I think we should just play for the right. You weren't talking about zebras. You were talking about cave folk. Yes. Yeah, yes. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't believe Seabrass. <laughs> <laughs> That's like there's so many friendly Danish guys that you shouldn't trust. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said a friendly giant Danish man, and, yeah, and then yeah. there's no doubt. Because <laughs> Seabrass, I mean, there's no doubt it wouldn't be Seabrass at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it possible? <laughs> Seabros is tiny, unless you're talking about his penis, Chigan, which I've never seen personally, but uh, everyone everyone says Seabros is tiny. <laughs> Are we still talking about his penis? <laughs> yeah, like five, five, seven or something, maybe even shorter, I don't know. Of course you're talking about his penis. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, K Fog's about six five, I think. Five eleven and a half. Ah yes. <laughs> Completely insignificant. That's just that's just an American thing that isn't it, being under six foot. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Hargrim, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Danish penises. I'm, I haven't had a Danish pastry for ages. <laughs> I've never had a Danish penis. <laughs> yeah, I think he's six five. I think he's six five. He might he might only be six four, but he is big. He might be six six. But he's he's a big lad. Did he? Mm. Like I'm sure he's not six three. Well, he's anywhere between six four. The and team six, six. that makes this interesting got the ball. I called it on turn sixteen, and I was fucking right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the PDD makes it pretty uninteresting again. Yeah, unfortunately, because it was it was pretty interesting. The uh, the yeah the proils, you know, potatoing down the side with the strength four. And now it's now they're fucked because they stand firm in front of both of their blitzers and oh, at least he started with a ball. Oh, and he has two rerolls, so. Oh, and he got yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and he got the ball. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> but how does he break through? Yeah. Um... I think that wasn't the way. I think I think don't you just dodge this way and hit him on two? I mean, yeah, you know, that, like... that surely was definitely the wrong call. Mm -hmm. um... Yeah, if you're blitzing any of them, it's it's the 2D on the on the edge. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what you have to do, because you've got two chances to hit him. Or, like, you've got a 2 into 1, haven't you? Yeah. He stand, but, so either he doesn't stand firm on the first one, and you break the sideline anyway. Yeah, yeah. Or or you just power him on the first one, and then you, you get to move three players downfield. Yeah. Imagine not suggesting any Dakar. Uh, I mean, the Dakar isn't that bad, genuinely. The problem is is the three dodges off tackle, isn't it? Is the thing. Yeah. But maybe it would have only been one if, if without the perfect defence. Maybe it would have just been it one is. dodge off tackle. He already made two dodges off tackle that he had to. Um, so it's not that much worse than that. But... You get the yeah. I think you have to go for the chance to break break down the left flank, um, force yourself through there. But, <clears throat> but you don't sacrifice too much defensive positioning in order to do that. Yeah, you do because you want to hand off first thing. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It was, I mean, it was yeah. a hard. It was a hard spot to be in. Yeah. You can't just run off the side stick. <laughs> you just can't. Maybe you should have set up to a Dakar though. I think setting up on the LOS is always insane. Yeah, I mean that's a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have set up one back, couldn't he? In case of a P, did he? Yeah. But then you know, on the other hand, you do gain something by not doing that. So, like, saying he shouldn't have been touching the flank is, is you know, like, what's the chance of a perfect defence, right? It's like one in... one in nine. Another it, one in nine! But it, but, it, but it's still, like, how do you... how do you screw up the... the... Um, equity that you just gained by, by getting the ball ahead on rerolls? Well, you screw that up by getting punished for something like PDD. Yeah, but I think you've got. That's not the only way. He's got, you've got five players or whatever. <laughs> you know, like it's not. It's not an easy. I mean, it's PD, it's T, PDD and blitz, and you're fucked. But yeah, but he's, he can't. Blitz, he can't, you're can't, fucked proper anyway. Yeah, yeah, he can't but play around. PDD, the blitz. You're not. You're not proper fucked. No. So, until you set up to get proper fucked by it. 
Yeah, but the, you saw, so, but it's only one in nine times, right? And the other eight times out of nine, you get a, a significant advantage of one square of movement versus movement four choice. But your movement eight, you don't you need from seven. that. He's movement seven. This is the guy he want to score on, right? Because he's he's strength four, so he can he, the 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 chops can't. Didn't he have him. a catcher next to him? Like the catcher's movement eight to screen him in front. He had of the him. mighty blow. He had both blitzers on the LOS. Yeah, well, that's insane as well. So I'm told. You want what you want? You want one guy that can move in front of him, so he has to walk around. Yeah, right? when I've got six players on the pitch, I don't care about defending <laughs> against perfect defense. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I think that's seven. what. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it makes you're talking about that square making a difference. The seventh player makes a difference. Like, did, did I? I think he. I think he set up wrong, and I think he got massively punished for then taking the wrong blitz. Uh, yeah, I think he made the wrong blitz. I think that's easier to say than he was wrong to uh, set up how he did. Um, because I think, you know, every square matters, and I think yeah. the perfect defense is unlikely enough that it's more likely that that extra square matters than the perfect defense matters. But obviously the, per the perfect defense is terrible, so it's just it's just a judgment call as to whether you think that one in nine is, is yeah. bad enough, or, or you know, basically. Or how much you gain from the... Uh, I think I, I've been fucked by kickoff events in, in my important games too many times. But I, I I just can't like not defend against it. But these guys apparently haven't, so they refuse to defend against it. No, it's not that. It's because he hasn't even hit any other players, dude. He didn't defend the fucking quick snap in the first half. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was bad. That was the, well, no, well, he couldn't really defend the quick snap. He could, but he, he just in like it wasn't just a quick snap, right? <laughs> oh, right? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. You know, like he only had like he only had five players for that, so there's no way he could protect the back line. So, you, so you know, but he should have just split the LOS. Like, like he should have definitely split the LOS. Good point, He, he didn't did remember, remember to score. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Someone drive it. Fucking didn't. <laughs> So no, not actually even that. Uh, yeah, if he'd scored in his own drive, this would have been over. <laughs> yeah. But Same no, he fucking half that got into a failed score. So not even that. I'm taking your point back. Oh, you can be mine. Glorious Spoke Bearer, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to this amazing game of <laughs> pro elves who get criticised for not setting up against a perfect defence when there's only uh, three players to set up. No, <laughs> you can't. Look, that's now they have three players. They have seven. <laughs> it's not over. Don't say it's over. He's even got five I mean, now. The glorious thing about a replay as well is that you can call it over and then not talk about the game for 15 turns and then something that both coaches just stop playing and suddenly it's not over anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start talking about the game. Yeah. yeah. Br brilliant, brilliant marketing for why we should always do replays. Yep. I love how we kind of made him strength seven. <laughs> it's not three guys because he's strength four. <laughs> uh, I guess it was to stop the frenzy. Uh, it was to stop the frenzy, yeah, right? Yeah. It was to stop the frenzy. That's what it was. Because if he sidesteps to here, he still got the assists. Yeah, it was the sidestep. It was to protect. It was, still, it was still hilarious. It was hilarious that he made it seven, yeah, and then didn't get three dice. Pretty good. And now it's, don't say it's over, but... It's pretty much over. <laughs> Missed a lively discussion about Danish penis. God damn it, I have so much to offer to. <laughs> I don't think there's been ever been a conversation where Kalon didn't have so much to offer. Good point. 
<laughs> someone say the word discussion and Kayla get instant FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> players uh, they've been they've been wrecked by uh, by the yeah. chorfs I think this was the chorf team with one claw pummel wasn't there and maybe he got injured or no I don't know maybe he did not have a uh, he, he strength bust uh, uh, chorf but the apple saved him mm, no like in the first round so maybe he oh he did have a claw pummel I don't know this somebody had like a pretty rubbish chorf team but had a claw pummel yeah um, I mean he has a rookie chorf so it could be this team yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a sort of... I mean, there was, there was a few pretty crappy chorf teams, to be honest. But, um... Oh, yeah, he did! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I did tell you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, it was those undead. And he, the undead didn't play great and uh, did get diced a bit. Road frontage. Road... The road frontage means were pretty great from K. Ugh. Glorious bit of road frontage. Do you know what's a great TV show in England? I don't know if you have it in around the world. It's called Naked Attraction. And uh, and what happens is they have a person and then they have six other people and then <laughs> they're in like cubicles. <laughs> and then they, they, they're, they're, they're all naked inside said cubicles and then the cubicles like get revealed higher and higher as they, they go up and then they pick they pick who they want to go on a date with it's pretty funny it's it's pretty funny um, so there you go um, it's a pretty so good it show starts, it starts with the feet yeah it, it starts no it starts like at waist high and then they, they... Well, if it started with the feet, you'd know that if someone just instantly buzzes, then you're out. <laughs> <laughs> the old seven toes. Yeah. No, it's it starts it starts yeah. just above the waist, then like just below the head, and then the head last. Um, and pretty much, it's it, the the women are pretty consistent with what they pick, <laughs> which, is, which is always the guys who are the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, the blokes just usually vote for the fittest one. Um, right, so there you go. Well done, Devic. Uh, a glorious win there, two one. Uh, commiserations to Vava with the loss. And wow, this guy fucked up. <laughs> and and uh, thank you very much, Dadel. Being glorious having you in the booth. Uh, thank you so much for having me. It was uh, it was great. And uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay and fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>